I'm a little late uh, with my lunchtime video today because I was on an awesome call with my mentor, Dana Nevy. Yes, she's awesome. And you never can cut those short because they're inspirational and awesome and amazing. So anyway, I'm coming at you today because I was totally inspired by my dad's sermon yesterday. It was really, really awesome. And sometimes, you know, you hear things in your past and you forget about them and then you hear them again. And I can't remember ever hearing this sermon before, which is weird because uh, you'd think I would remember. So uh, anyway, I learned about prayer. And hi, Denise, I pray a lot, as you know from all of my posts, and I love it, and I think that it gets me um, through everything, and there are so many different kinds of prayer. Hi, Michelle. So all of it is good. All of it is awesome. Hi, honey. So today I want to talk to you about five of them that Martin Luther taught when, um, when my dad was in the seminary. He heard this uh, talk by one of his professors. So anyway, here are five types of prayer that are, it was really, really cool and it has motions and it makes you remember. So the first one is this, cross your arms in front of you. It's the confession prayer. When you're confessing your sins, which we are all sinful and unclean, um, to God. So this is confession. That's one kind of prayer. The second <laughs> is um, Praise, put your arms up like this and you are praising God and you are praising him for all of the amazing things that he has given to you. Praise is up like this. You praise him and you're grateful and you're thankful. Actually, the third one is thanks, it's this. I love that one, looks like you're really praying. Um, this is thanks, this is the, the thankful prayers. When he answers our prayers and whether or not sometimes he answers them the way we want them, he always answers our prayers. And this is the thanks sign. So remember, this is confession, this is um, praise, this is thanks. The third is intercession. We do that every Sunday at our church, the prayers of intercession. Hi Andy, hi Gina, thanks for jumping on. This one is when we pray for everyone else. We pray for all of our leaders and we pray for all of our friends who are sick and the friends of friends of friends who are in need. Uh, we pray for all the people with mental health issues and we pray for all of the people that are deployed and we just pray for everyone and everything that's going on. So that's this, prayers of intercession. It's like all inclusive, everything. And then there are prayers of petition. It's like this, like gimme, like when we're praying for something good to happen for ourselves. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hi, Mary Rose. And it's okay to pray for stuff for yourself too. My dad did the analogy that when your son wants a bike, you wanna know that your son wants a bike or your daughter. So this is the same thing as God. God wants to hear what we want because he is our father. So it's okay to pray for things to happen for yourself. So I wanna recap those five, because it's really, really cool. I loved that there was a motion for all of them. So here are five kinds of prayer. And again, I wanna say, there are, zillions kinds, there are a zillion kinds of prayer and a zillion ways we can pray, and all of it is amazing. So here's the first one. Confession, praise, thanks, intercession for everyone, and petition, the gimme. And those are all awesome. Um, the other thing he talked about, which is really, really cool in all of our lives right now, is that we all have a lot of good things happen to us, and we all have a lot of bad things happen to us, and good and bad run on parallel tracks, and they usually arrive at the same time. That's the coolest thing that he said. Good and bad run on parallel tracks, and they usually arrive at the same time. So, guys, Martin Luther was Lutheran. Hi, Gina. Hi, Doris. Um, but it doesn't matter because prayer is all worldwide about every different de not denomination has absolutely no, doesn't matter what denomination you are. You can all pray and it's all awesome. Um, so anyway, remember that when good things and bad things all happen at the same time, be thankful for that good thing and always, always, always focus on that good blessing that happened. Because even though something bad also happened, 
the most important thing is the blessing and the good that happened. It's the same thing that goes for focusing on the 98% of things in your life that are amazing instead of focusing on the 2% that are not amazing. Guys, you get to choose what you focus on and whatever you focus on grows. So when good and bad happen at the same time, make sure you're focusing on the blessing and don't give another thought to that bad thing because we don't want to focus on the 2% of bad. We want to focus on the 98% that are right. And if you can get that across to all the people in your lives that you can see are focusing only on the icky things in their lives, if you can change that person, if you can tip that person over to focusing on their positives, you may change their life. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Gina. Um, I actually hadn't heard that either. I maybe did, I probably did, but you know how things have to get thrown in your face a million times before it actually hits you. So that's why I wanted to share that with everyone today because I thought those motions were so, so cool. I'm kind of talking a lot today. But anyway, um, I absolutely thought that having those motions and remembering the different kinds of prayer was really cool. And I know that people pray at different times and different ways. Um, I know a pastor who prays when he runs and he's not folding his hands and he's not crossing, he's not closing his eyes. He prays when he runs. That's really, really cool. What a great time of solace to pray. You can pray at any time in your life. I pray pretty much all the time, anywhere. My dog pray, has to pray before he eats, which is really, really cute. Um, he won't eat unless you do his table prayer. But, oh, hi, Lee, thanks for joining me. Uh, I just had to share this with you all. And if you guys teach Sunday school or anything like that, share this with your Sunday school kids because it's really something that I think you can remember for the rest of your life and you can remember the different ways you should pray. I'm gonna recap one more time. This is the arm, this is so you can remember. It's nice to have a visual. So this is the prayer of confession. We all have to confess our sins and the, this is the sign for confession. Prayers of confession. And then this is the sign for praise. Praise God for all the blessings that he gives us and praise him for all of the amazing things that he does good in our lives. And then the third one is thanks. This is the thanks prayer, which I love because it looks like you're praying. Thank you, God, for everything that you have given to us. And then there's the prayer of intercession. I'm sure most of you um, do this prayer of intercession at church every single Sunday, but that's when we pray for our leaders and we pray for our teachers and we pray for our coaches and we pray for everybody who's, who's ill. That's the prayers of intercession. And then um, the last one is petition, the gimme prayers, the prayers of all about asking for things for us and it's totally okay to ask God for things. It is absolutely okay. If you have not, hi Sally, hi Dana, um, go back and re-listen to this one because it's super important and I hope that you share it with everyone that might need some prayer in their lives. Confession, praise, thanks, intercession, and gimme. All those prayers are awesome. All of your prayers are awesome. It doesn't matter how you pray, where you pray, or what you're praying for. Everything is awesome. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for tuning in with me today. I hope that you all pray like crazy, and I hope you all choose to have your best day ever, and be an inspiration. This was my, my thing for today with my workout and everything. Be ins an inspiration to someone today. Inspire someone. Remember that um, you are the world to somebody. You're being looked upon and you are a role model. So make sure that you live your life in such a way that all the people that are, are looking to you for support or for a direction are all seeing um, something amazing. And I'm not saying you have to be perfect. I'm, I'm just saying try to li live your life serving others and creating um, a, an amazing platform for people to see how to eat healthy and, and lift people higher and serve others and pray for people and do things for other people. Just always try to leave the people that you encounter feeling amazing about themselves because they ran into you that day. Be a shiny bubble everywhere you go. All right, guys, it was super awesome to have you on here today. Thank you very, very much. Hi, Lori, good to see you. 
Um, I'll see you tomorrow with another little tip. And thanks to my dad, Reverend Dan Holm, who preached this sermon yesterday. He inspires me every single day. He and my mom, I get to sit next to my mom and sing hymns with her. And she's my miracle mom and I love her very much. And I am blessed to sit by her in church on Sundays and sing with her and listen to my dad inspire me. They both inspire me every single day. So thanks uh, for the topic, Dad, for my lunchtime little video today. Bye!